Hi, welcome to our fraction learning series. So in our previous video, we have seen how do we multiply two fractions. In today's video, we will see what do we mean by multiplicative inverse, which is also known as a reciprocal of a fraction. And it is very helpful when we have to carry out the division of the fractions. So let us see what do we mean by multiplicative inverse. A multiplicative inverse is basically a number which when multiplied to a given number gives you a 1. Let us see what it means. Suppose I have a fraction 2 by 5. I need to multiply this 2 by 5 with some other fraction so that it gives me a 1. And this fraction here is nothing but the multiplicative inverse. Okay, so we see that if we multiply 2 by 5 with a fraction which has 5 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator, then this 5 will cancel off with this 5. And this 2 cancels off with this 2 and we get 1 over 1 which is nothing but a 1. So what do we notice here? That the multiplicative inverse, in this case it is 5 over 2. Okay, so the multiplicative inverse, how do we obtain it? It is obtained by interchanging the places of numerator and denominator of the given fraction. A multiplicative inverse of a fraction is obtained by interchanging the places of numerator and denominator of the given fraction and it is also known as the reciprocal of a fraction. Okay, let us see some of the examples. If we have a fraction 3 over 7. So, to obtain the multiplicative inverse, we have to, or reciprocal, we have to swap the numerator by the denominator. So, here 3 is our numerator and 7 is our denominator. In this case, 7 will be swapped to the numerator and 3 will come in the denominator and so the reciprocal of 3 by 7 is 7 by 3. Okay, if we want to find a reciprocal of 5, so let us write 5 as a fraction. We can write 5 as 5 over 1, correct? And now to find its reciprocal, we will swap the numerator and denominator, so we will get 1 over 5. So the reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of 5 is 1 over 5. Okay, we see that the number 0 does not have any reciprocal. Reciprocal or multiplicative inverse. Let us see why. If we take the number 0, we have a 0, okay, and we want to find the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 0. Now, 0 can be written as 0 over 1. Any integer can be written in the fraction form as that integer divided by 1. And when we swap the numerator and the denominator, we get 1 over 0. Do we have a fraction which has a denominator of 0? No, there is nothing defined like this. There is no fraction defined with the denominator 0, correct? So this means that we will get an undefined fraction and therefore 0 does not have a reciprocal, okay? I hope this thing is clear to everyone. There is no reciprocal for the number 0. Now, tell me which is a number which has the reciprocal same as the number itself? number whose reciprocal is same as 
the number itself which is that number and that particular number is 1 we can write 1 as 1 over 1 and when we try to find its reciprocal we will swap the numerator and denominator and we again get a 1 here and the 1 in the denominator so the resultant fraction is same as the original fraction so a number 1 is a number whose reciprocal is same as the number itself if we have an a proper fraction say 2 by 5 a proper fraction is a fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator and when we try to convert or find its reciprocal we get a 5 over 2 so we see that 2 over 5 is a proper fraction and 5 over 2 is an improper fraction okay so reciprocal of a proper fraction is an improper fraction fine and similarly if we have a fraction uh, 7 over 3 it's an improper fraction and when we try to find its reciprocal we get 3 over 7 so reciprocal of an improper fraction is a proper fraction I hope this much is clear to everyone what do we mean by multiplicative inverse and or reciprocal of a uh, fraction in our next video we will see how do we perform the division of two fractions and the concept of reciprocal will be used there if you have any doubts regarding the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com this is my youtube channel math academy if you have liked my videos please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you